Hey guys, Megan from My Vegan Dreams here. Yeah, I just wanted to hop on here today and show y'all my favorite products that I use that are vegan and cruelty free. So let's get into it. And if you like my shirt, I am a Hufflepuff. If y'all know Harry Potter, and I got my Team Captain Quidditch shirt. So it even says like my last name and a number on the back. So if anyone is uh, into Harry Potter, let me know what your house is down below. So starting with my face, I use a product called, which it may be backwards. I may have to like flip this video, but it's Derma E. And this product um, I love. Uh, I usually only stay on like face washes for like a few months or not too long just because I don't like it or it's just, it strips my face. So what I bought is this Derma E Hydrating Gentle Cleanser, and it has hydrochloronic acid and chamomile in it, which I didn't know it had chamomile in it, which it doesn't irritate my face. It doesn't really break me out because I have mostly like combo to oily, like on my T-zone, but everywhere else is really dry. So I use this to hydrate my face because it says hydrating on it and it actually does hydrate my face and it doesn't strip my face and it is non-GMO, vegan, cruelty-free, or 100% vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, and recyclable. So, I and this, it's also a good price as well. Like I got it from Ulta and I don't, I don't think it was too terribly expensive. I will put all the links to all these products down below. So if any, if any of y'all wanna check it out, you definitely can. So yeah, Derma E, definitely a good product. And then the next thing, I usually use in my routine is this, which I did look and they are, they're not 100% vegan, but they're 100% vegetarian, but most of their products are vegan, which this product I have in my hand is vegan and, and their whole company is cruelty free. But they don't have it certified on here. That's the only thing I don't like is, which I'll just show y'all. It's ordinary, um, it's a, Glycoronic or glyclonic acid toning solution. So I use this as a toner just to kind of even out my skin and whatnot. Um, and the only thing I don't like about some companies is that they don't put if they're cruelty free or vegan on their packaging when they are. Cause it's like some people just look for that and if they don't see it then they won't buy it. Cause it's, cause it's like, why would I want to research it? Um, but I'm coming to y'all and tell y'all this is vegan and cruelty free. So if you need a good clean or a toner, I, highly suggest suggest this it does have acid in it which is like glycoronic acid seven percent so if you have like open wounds or like like an open pimple or something it will burn a little bit and it may burn your skin a little bit so if it does definitely test it before you use it like because i mean for me it works wonderful like like it doesn't i don't have any issues with it so ordinary um, toning solution I suggest okay so my next products are uh, again from Derma E but this is I use I believe once a week or every two weeks it just depends on what I'm feeling yeah I do not use it it technically says I can use it every three to five days but I feel like I don't need to use it but this is Derma E's um, uh, it's like a vitamin C instant radi radiance citric facial peel. So if y'all are into ordinary, um, you've probably seen the alpha, I can't remember the name, but it's the, the little red bottle with like, uh, it's like just straight like acid, but like safe acid to put on your face. And it's like the peeling um, mask. That's basically what this is. It's just, it's vitamin C. And it's a little, like it has a little like coarse in it, or not coarse, it has like little beads in it, um, but not small enough to go into your skin because I don't want to block my pores. But what I would do with this is, I they gave me this little spoon. I'll scoop it out, I'll put it on my face, leave it on for no more than three minutes, and then I'll scoop it off my face. And then I'll kind of uh, use a damp towel and to kind of just pat it into my skin and make sure that any excess is off my face. And then I'll continue my routine, but I haven't had any issues with this. And it does say it's an exfoliant facial. Um, 
product. So that's why I only use it like it says you can use it every three to five days, but I use it like either once a week or every two weeks just because I don't need to exfoliate my face that often, I feel like. So if you need a good uh, exfoliant that's not ordinary because I feel like they're always sold out of that, Derma E definitely like. And it has vitamin C in it as well, which is good for your face. And then another product I used to use, I don't use it as often anymore, but um, this company called Mad Hippie, uh, they're vegan and cruelty free. I, yeah, I believe all their products are vegan, but if not, then they're definitely all vegetarian, but I believe they're 100% uh, vegan and cruelty free, but I'll put everything down below for y'all to see. Um, but this is the exfoliant serum, which is with alpha hydrox acid, alpha or apple stem cells and I can't read this font for some reason, but yeah, it has something else in it. It's like Gaga White. Never heard of that, but I'd have to Google that. But this I don't use anymore just because I now have that vitamin C serum or uh, vitamin C facial peel. But it, like it doesn't like peel your face, but you know what I mean. It kind of just like strips all the dead skin off your face um, without harming the rest of your skin. But this I would use. It kind of reminds me of the ordinary, um, like red solution. I, I it's like the peeling solution that I was just talking about. But this you actually leave on your skin, and it doesn't. It's not acid, so actually it technically is, but it's not like a strong solution of acid like like that ordinary uh, uh, peeling mask that I was just talking about. So this you can leave on your face and then you leave it on for 10 minutes and then you continue with your next step in your routine. But I do suggest checking out Mad Hippie just because they're just like a really good company, ethically sourced, um, vegan, cruelty free, and they just care about like their products and care about their customers and what they put in their products for consumers. So Mad Hippie definitely suggest them. Continuing to go down my line of routine, um, I then use Derma E. As you can tell, I really like Derma E. Um, they're just a good brand. Um, it says it's, oh, it also says right here, it's eco-ethical. So it's, ve it's like I said, it's vegan, non-GMO, um, cruelty-free, gluten-free, soy-free, and recyclable. Like, I like how this is like glass, like the face wash is plastic, which is recyclable, but this is like a glass. So it's just, it just feels nicer when you have this. And this is just a firming DMAE moisturizer, which is more for advertised towards like older women. Cause I'm only 22. I probably don't need to be using this, but I got, got to start early, got to start, um, make sure your skin's good early. So it's supposed to like kind of like tighten your skin, make sure it stays nice and youthful. So I like using this. Um, yeah, it's just a nice moisturizing moisture. So I definitely suggest y'all check out. I mean, I'm not paid by Derma E. I sure wish I was. I sure wish I got free products from them, but I'm not paid by them. But Derma E definitely a company that I suggest. Okay, so moving on to like my teeth. Um, I use um, Tom's of Maine toothpaste. Um, it is cruelty free. It doesn't say it's vegan, but I Googled it and they say the majority of their products are vegan and have worked to find plant-based alternatives for ingredients which are typically made from animal ingredients. So they're trying their best to switch over to plant-based, which I love seeing that. Um, but it is cruelty free. And this is just anti-placking and whitening toothpaste. It's fluoride free and natural. And it's the peppermint one. And I just like it because I, I used another toothpaste, which I swear if this, I used another toothpaste that had sugar in it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm literally brushing my teeth so I don't get cavities and I just have good breath and all that. But then you're over here putting sugar in my toothpaste. Like, what is this? So. I'm just gonna read real quick to make sure. Okay, this doesn't have sugar in it, so it plus like it had it said stevia, a like stevia extract, and I'm like, what's the point of putting sugar or like sweetener inside toothpaste if you're just trying to clean your teeth? So 
Oh, definitely suggest getting Tom's toothpaste. Okay, moving on to like deodorant. <laughs> this is, I, I've been using this brand. It's kind of hard finding vegan deodorant or cruelty-free de deodorant that works. Like, um, I, I still, I'm still kind of searching, but thankfully I'm not out that often and I'm like sweating like up a storm. So I kind of just use this for day to day, but this is, which y'all probably have seen this. It's just love, beauty, and planet. And this is just like the argon oil and lavender um, and it's plant-based deodorant so it says 20 well it's, they say there's 24 hour protection but I feel like eh, not really like probably eight hours to 12 hours maybe but if they say it's 24 hours then they've probably tested it but it is cruelty free um 100% or it is vegan there's no aluminum no alcohol no paraffins um Let's see, ethically sourced lavender with plant-based deodorizers. And this container is 43% recyclable. So I don't know what the rest of it is, but yeah. So also they have also really good shampoo and conditioner. I used to use them all the time, but I switched over to something else, but I will show you all that in a minute. So if y'all need, which for the most part, this is a pretty good deodorant. So if you need a pretty good deodorant that does last a while, um, and doesn't like clog your armpits and creates bumps and stuff it then this is definitely one to go with okay so now to the shower <laughs> um what i use now for shampoo and conditioner which i feel like it's already done a lot for my hair and i've only been using it for like a two weeks is um ooh, i'm going to butcher this and dolo naturals um I'm just too dyslexic to read anything. Andalou, Andalou, something like that. <laughs> but it's the shampoo. I have the shampoo and conditioner. So this one is just the shampoo. It's lavender and biotin, and it is vegan, uh, certified gluten free, and cruelty free, uh, certified by Leaping Bunny. Um, and this is for lift, body, and shine, um, which I just realized. Oh, actually no, because yeah. It's for full volume, which as you can see, my hair is quite flat, but I, I wish for full volume. So that's why I use this because my hair, I probably could use moisturizing shampoo because my hair gets quite dry and not super oily. So, but I just wish for volume. So that's why I use this, but this is a, it definitely leaves my hair nice and healthy feeling after I shower. So it's like all of my hair is so long right now. You can see it's like nice and shiny, but not in an oily way, in a nice and healthy way. Cause I also sometimes use like my mom's <laughs> hair serum, which is just like argan oil, but yeah. Don't know how to pronounce it. And do -woo? definitely suggest them. I found these at Sprouts. I don't know where else they are, but if you have a Sprouts near you or Whole Foods, I definitely suggest them. Maybe on a little bit of the pricier side, but if you're looking for a good, shampoo and conditioner that are also vegan and cruelty free i definitely suggest going to love beauty and plan as well but these are also pretty good okay so for body wash i just switched over to this as well i used to use love beauty and planet for the longest time but i figured i'd switch to something that came in a bigger container which is um everyone's soap and or everyone for everybody soap and it's made with plant extracts and pure essential oils which is just technically it's a three-in-one I don't I don't know why people would use it for shampoo body wash and bubble bath that makes sense but I only use it for body wash and sometimes to shave my legs as well because I'll show you what I use uh, that I use to shave my legs with but I actually really don't like it so I'm <laughs> I use this or conditioner, but not that one that I just showed y'all. Probably like uh, one that I just have laying in the shower that doesn't get used. But this is uh, certified cruelty-free, certified gluten-free, non-GMO. Ne I've never seen, I mean, I have seen this. I take that back, this label before. I never know what it means. And then it's recyclable and synthetic fragrant free. So 
good for your body. And I, I, I like it. Like, I love lavender stuff, so. It also has aloe in it. So this Kiss My Face, they are cruelty-free, BPA-free, recyclable. Uh, oh, it actually says right here, vegan. Because I was I had to Google it. I was like, is this company vegan? And yes, they're vegan and no animal ingredients. And it's ethically sourced. And yeah, so this is definitely a good company. Like, I've used their toothpaste before. I'm pretty sure their mouthwash as well. Um, so all around, just a good company, but I, like, I even got, like, the fragrant-free one, and it still irritated my legs, so I don't know what's up with my legs, but, um, when I shave them, I usually have to use, like, a body wash or conditioner, which definitely has, like, some sort of, like, fragrant in it, but it's not really fragrant, it's, like, something else, but, um, yeah, like, but other than that, this is a good company if you need to shave your legs or if you want to shave your legs and you need um, like a actually shaving cream. This is more of like a shaving lotion. You rub it all over your legs and it moisturizes as well. So what I'll do is actually shave my legs with something else and then I'll put this on after while I'm in the shower, condition my hair, whatever else I need to do, and then I'll rinse it off and it leaves my legs moisturized. So definitely I would use this if you were going to shave or after you shave, but in the shower. So kiss my face. <laughs> okay, so for my last product, I wish also show y'all makeup, but I don't really use a lot of makeup. Like probably the only thing I use is mascara or eyeliner, and I usually just use like Tarte, e.l.f., Smashbox, I believe is also vegan. If not, then they are cruelty free, but yeah, so, but for my last product, going back to shaving, I use this crazy looking razor. It's called Leaf, which is a perfect name for vegans if you're vegan or plant-based. Um, but yeah, this company is really cool because like I've had this razor for, oh my, like beginning of quarantine, like March maybe, before everything went downhill and um, I, it's just, I like, I, I, I've never had such a good razor before, like, I'd even use men's razors and I still, like, would miss spots or just didn't shave right, but this company is just, like, so cool, like, it's like, I'll show y'all, like, I unscrew this, I open it up, and you put in these little safety blades, and once you take them out, if you buy the package that I bought, which I'll put it in the description below. You, I have this little tin can and I just put it in there and I just have like, it's kind of weird showing y'all, but like I just have like a ton of these little safety blades in here. And I've had this, I haven't had to replace, like buy more, which I will soon. I haven't had to buy more of these little like safety blades since like March. Cause they give you about a hundred um, if you buy the package I did, um, and they come in a package of two, so basically what I would do is I would just open it up, take out the little safety blades without cutting myself by accident, I'll put it in here, and then I would open up one of these little packages, snap them in half so it creates two, and I just put them back in here, close it, um, close this thing as well and then boom onto the races <laughs> with shaving um which I, I do feel you have to be a little bit more careful with this because I have cut my foot I mean not my foot my my like near my foot area a few times um just by accidentally either nicking my leg or just pressing down a little bit too hard but you can press down hard and it won't cut you but I don't know how I did that but I cut myself but it was like a very small like piece of skin that came off but yeah if you're looking for a good eco-friendly like like razor because like after you're done with those little blades you can go and recycle them because they're made out of oh, I believe aluminum uh it says on here platinum superior platinum so you can go and recycle these 
and it's not going into the dumpster with a plastic razor and blades on them and going into the ocean or just sitting in a landfill forever. And you, literally, you don't even have to replace this thing unless it breaks. All you have to do is just order more blades and you're good. So, Leaf, thank you for changing my shaving game. <laughs> I'm not paid by them either, but I sure wish I was. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little video of me showing y'all what products I use for my head, my face, and my body. <laughs> um, and if you want to check out these products, I'm not paid by any of them. I wish I wish I was. I hope y'all are listening. But um, if you want to check them out, I'll have them up in the description above or below, depending on where you're watching this. And be sure to check them out and support these companies just because they're they're trying to do a good thing by bringing in vegan and cruelty-free products. And the more people we get onto the vegan and cruelty-free lifestyle, the more it's good for you, the environment, and for the animals. So definitely check them out. And if you've enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like, subscribe, um, comment down below what Hogwarts house you're in. Um, I'm a proud Hufflepuff, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Let me know what y'all thought of these products, if you've tried any, and what are your favorite products are, and hope to see y'all soon. Bye.